So today we are going to derive a lens maker's formula, which is 1 by f equals to 1 uh, n refractive index of uh, lens minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus r 1 by r2. f is the focal length of the lens, n l is the absolute refractive index of the lens. Absolute refractive of the lens means refractiveness of the lens with respect to air, like the light rays coming from air into the lens. And r1, r2 are the two rays of curvature of the lens. Here, I am considering a thin biconvex lens. This is the principal axis or the optical axis. This is the symmetrical axis or geometrical axis. And they both intersect at a point P, which is the, or also called as optic center. This is the first center of curvature, first focus, and the second center of curvature, and this is the second focus. Here, let us imagine we are considering that the uh, medium is having only one curved surface only this curved surface. Let us imagine for the moment uh, there is no second curved surface. Let us imagine there is no second curved surface. Means completely here you have a denser medium where the interface is convex shape like this. Okay, only one curved surface. Now, let us imagine there is a point object O on the principal axis. Where will the image form? For that we should draw the ray diagram. I will draw one ray, one incident ray like this and one incident ray along the principal axis. Along the principal axis, we will go straight unrefracted like this. We will go straight unrefracted. But what about this? This light ray here. See, th if this is the uh, radius of curvature, this will become the normal. And this light ray, when it's going from ray to denser, it will bend towards the normal. It won't go straight like this. This is the norm. This, uh, this radius of curvature is the normal. It will bend towards the normal. So it will bend somewhere like this. Like this, it will bend. And these two light rays are meeting here. The two refractive rays are meeting here. So I get uh, the image. Somewhere let us say the image is Q at this point. Okay, is that clear? Now, now we will see some points uh, regarding this first refraction. What is the surface? This is a convex surface, isn't it? It's a convex surface, and here in the convex surface. Uh, what is the object distance from pole to object? P to this is the object distance U. And what is image distance? Pole to image, which is Q. This is the image distance. Let us think of something like X. So what is the object distance here? The object distance is P O, which is U. And what is the image distance? Which is from pole to image P Q. And what is that? It is x. And uh, what is the radius of curvature for this curve? If I extend this curve like this, uh, I get a circle. And it has the radius of curvature from pole to this C1. So the radius of curvature is P C1, which is, uh, let us let us take R1. But we have to follow sign convention here. If I think uh, this, is the, uh, this is the negative side, isn't it? And this is the positive side. So, the object distance will be actually minus u and the image distance will be plus x and the radius of curvature also will be plus r1, isn't it? Now, see, let us assume that uh, this first medium, light ray is first going from first medium to second medium. Let us assume that the first medium refractive index is Na and the second medium refractive index is Nb. First medium is always where the incident ray will lie before refraction. Second medium is where the refracted ray will lie after refraction. So here we get the refracted of first medium N1 is nothing but Na, isn't it? And the refracted of second medium N2 is nothing but Nb, isn't it? Refracted of first medium is N1, which is Na, and the refracted of second medium N2 is Nb. Now if I put this data in curved, surf uh, curved surface formula, what is the curved surface formula? N2 by V minus N1 by U is equals to N2 minus N1 by R. This curved surface formula. For all the data in this formula, what do you get? N2. What is N2? Nb by V. V is the image distance, which is x here. Minus, what is N1? N1 is Na. By, what is U? U is the object distance, but I take it as minus U, because I am following sign convention. Minus U. That is equals to N2 minus N1, which is Nb minus Na. Nb minus Na by the radius of curvature is here R1. It's R1. Okay. Let me consider this as uh, equation one. 
okay now we will observe but tell me will the image actually form a cube no why because we have a second curved surface which is concave isn't it it's a lens it has two curved surface so the image q formed due to the first surface convex surface will act as an object for the second surface the concave surface it will act as a virtual object so now let me consider what is happening on this uh, concave surface concave surface the object q formed due to the first surface convex surface will act as a virtual object for the second surface concave surface and the image will form somewhere uh, it, the image will not form here why why because the light ray will now go from denser to rarer medium it will bend away from the normal so when it bends away from the normal i get uh, somewhere over here the image is formed somewhere over here and uh, that is the image distance let us let us take it as v okay so from the pole to virtual object uh, this is object distance and for that object the image i p i will be the image distance so what do i get now what is the object distance the object distance is p q which is x and what is the image distance image distance is a pole to image p i which is v a v and what is the radius of curvature radius of curvature is for this curve so i get from p to c2 p c2 which is r2 but it is minus r2 why why because i am following a sign convention minus r2 and tell me now see carefully observe this sir previously light was going from air to glass now it's going from glass to air so this glass will be the first medium now and the outside air will be the second medium the outside air will be the second medium so what do i get the refractiveness of first medium n1 equals to the first medium is now the glass which is nb and uh, the second medium refractive index n2 is nothing but in the refractive index here it's na the same thing isn't it so it is na now again put all this in the curved surface formula in the curved surface formula what is the curved surface formula n2 by v minus n1 by u equals to n2 minus n1 by r what do i get n2 is n a by v is the same v or image distance v minus what is n1 n1 is n b by what is u u is the object distance which is x which is equals to n2 minus n1 which is n a minus and b by the radius of curvature here the radius of curvature is minus r2 minus r2 is that clear now let us uh, let us uh, assume that this is a uh, equation 2 now what i'm going to do is uh, i am going to add equation 1 and 2 i am going to add equation 1 plus equation 2 when i'm adding these two equations i can add uh, this left hand side plus this left hand side is equals to this right hand side plus this right hand side isn't it i am adding the two equations so what do i get na by v minus nb by x plus nb by x here minus of minus will become plus so i get plus na by u that is equals to what nb minus na na by r1 plus what is this n a minus n b by minus r2 isn't it okay i have added what what did i do i added this left hand side to this left hand side is equals to same right hand side sum of right hand side so what do i get now plus minus n b by x plus n b by x will cancel i get uh, n a by v plus n a by u is equals to n b minus n a by r1 plus of minus is minus n a minus n b by r2 or i can write this as n a by v plus n a by u is equals to so i can write this expression as n b minus n a into 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 i have taken common i have taken common 
Now I'll divide the whole equation by n a. Divide the whole equation by n a. What do I get? If I divide this by n a, this by n a, this by n a, and this by n a, what do I get? The n a n a will cancel. Get one by v. Plus here also n a n a will cancel. Get one by u. And this n b by n a minus again n a by n a is again one. So I get one by r one plus one by r two. This n b by n a is the reflectiveness of glass with respect to air, which is nothing but the refle absolute reflectiveness of glass. So I get a one by v plus one by u. This reflectiveness of glass by reflectiveness of air is absolute reflectiveness of the glass. One by r one plus one by r two. This is the lens maker formula for a convex surface because I have taken a convex lens for a convex lens. But if you if you want to generalize this equation for any lens. I have to follow sign convention, where u will be minus and r2 also will be minus. It's on the negative side, so I get a one by v minus one by u is equals to n b minus n1 into one by r1 minus one by r2. I just made this plus as minus and this plus as minus because u and r2 are on the negative side. And you know from lens formula, what is one by v minus one by u? It is one by f from lens formula. So finally, I get I'm writing here one by f equals to n b minus One into one by R one plus one by R two. Ah, minus. Oh, minus.